YouTube, what's going on? We have a back-to-back. -back. I just released a Theodore video, maybe a couple days ago or whenever this video comes out. Who knows? Today, we are going to be talking about Super Killer. So, I pulled Super Killer. Have her maxed out. I can show you all the combinations with her. We're going to talk about her. However, keep in mind, very, very, very rigorous testing has not been done by anybody. It is insanely difficult to test currently as the game is right now. The reasons is that stats differ so, so, so significantly. You cannot just look at like, okay, what's your USB? If your USB is not exactly the same, if your yesterday tech is not exactly the same, if your special ops and your military command and all of your tech is not exactly the same, there can be huge, 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 huge differences. The numbers are pretty much, they don't mean as much. When you look at a battle report, not all of the information is shown. So it's it's very, very difficult to actually get real, real, real testing. You basically need two ultra max bases with everything unlocked in the game to go head to head and test out all those formations. And in order for you to have a super ultra maxed base, uh, you know, you need to have spend bazillions of dollars so unfortunately i cannot do that i know a lot of people are asking you know go back to the, the the testing things i can try my best in terms of testing with bases that are very similar however it, it's never going to be uh it's never going to be completely accurate as we used to be able to do so just keep that in mind when you see battle reports and you see things don't just look at the might and the resistance the battle reports can be very 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 misleading nowadays um, so as always, take everything you see with a massive, massive grain of salt. Anyway, with that said, let's jump into Superkiller Grace. So uh, I have a video on her. I talk about all her skills. You can check that out if, if you know you aren't really understanding what she does. Go and check that video out. Um, it'll cover all of that. Let's talk about the Hopeness Lab, uh, because this is kind of the first question people, people have when they pull this hero. Now, this is what I'm currently running um, right now. I have three skill damages, temporary preparedness, and then fight on um, for the flexibility. Uh, fight on is an incredible flexibility, especially for a tank hero. If you don't have this, that's okay. Um, you can use a bunch of other flexibilities, or you don't even have to have one. It, it just depends on, on kind of where you are or what you're doing. So I I don't really love talking about flexibilities because it, it just differs for everybody. Um, however, if you have a fight on or multiple, or you have a purple fight on, you know, when I gold fight on or something, super killer should be a, a pretty significant priority for your fight on. Um, I would replace it. Let, let's say you have fight on on Raven, Beast, and Annie. That's like currently who you have, and Angel. Those are kind of the four main tanks, with excluding uh, Super Killer. I would replace the fight on on basically all three of those except for Raven. So if you have two of them, put your fight on on Super Killer Grace or you know whatever it is. Um, that's probably going to be your flexibility. Not even probably fight on is going to be your uh, your best flexibility for her. Now temporary preparedness is a solid one. Um, she doesn't really have sustainability or or like recovery. Um, you know, in the same length that like Angel does, for example. So temporary preparedness is, is just always going to be a really, really good option. However, you don't really need it. You can just do like HP or, uh, you know, just another skill damage or whatever you, whatever you have. Um, you can do greed. Sometimes the greed, greed synergizes pretty weirdly. Um, but generally you just kind of want a survivability here for, um, for grace. Now, the best uh, kind of normal stuff is going to be damage, skill damage, and pure might. Um, that's kind of what you want. It's similar to Raven, where she is doing a lot of kills, so you kind of want to just accentuate her strength. And then maybe, you know, with one of them or two of them, um, kind of fill in her weakness. So HP, for example, or maybe a resistance. Uh, HP is definitely better than resistance, by the way. Um, or like a temporary preparedness or greed or, or something like that. Um, for the most part, you're not really going to have a healer. Um, healing meta is kind of just like self-sustain. So yeah, just, just keep that in mind. You're probably not going to be pairing up or up 
pairing her up with a healer. So do with that information what you will. Now, damage or skill damage. Um, damage used to be significantly better. It might still be better than skill damage. I don't know. Um, again, very, very difficult to determine these things currently. I would just go with either. It's not really a big deal. If you're like really concerned about whether or not damage or skill damage is better, you can just test it yourself. Just use the hero, only the, this one hero, and attack like a tile or something like that. You'll you'll be able to see. Um, so that's about that for her hopeness slab. If you're confused at all or you're questioning like, oh, is this a good um, you know special ability? Just let me know in the comments or on Discord or whatever. Uh, I am back, so I can respond. Now, let's talk about her APCs. She, similar to Fallen Raven last season, she has kind of the ability to play with anybody. Um, a lot of people are seeing this. This is kind of what the devs recommended. Not kind of, it is what the devs recommended. As always, just ignore troop types. Um, just use the troops that you have to. This is a solid, solid um, APC. You're getting three troop types. I guess I will show you the troop types because it's kind of important for this specific APC. Whoops. Um, no, there we go. So you're getting all three troop types, which is really, really impactful nowadays with, if you're USB and, and things are high enough at that level. So it's very solid. However, um, there's tons and tons and tons and tons of combinations. She can work with Ifan. She can honestly work with Mayer. Like the same combination it can work with Kung Fu. The way I like to explain heroes and setting up your APCs now is you have your tank, which in this case is actually Grace. You pick a damage dealer. So she can work with um, Mech, but it's not like the greatest. But anyway, um, or Flash or Thunderbolt. You get your damage dealer, whatever it is, it's going to be pretty good. Um, the fact that your tank is just insane means as long as you just use a good damage dealer, the APC is going to be good. And then you just put a support. Um, so again, former mayor, uh, you know, if you have Thunderbolt, for example, um, Wasteland Outlaw, if you have Flash or Mech Pilot, Kung Fu, um, if you have either of those as well, um, Diver is like, okay, she's kind of like the worst, uh, one of the, not the worst, but like the worst of the best um, damage dealers or hammer. Uh, it doesn't really matter. You, you can honestly use all of this stuff here. Uh, or yeah, obviously Azure, like I, like I previously showed. Um, Azure works just really well uh, with Flash in general. So usually you'll want to pair these, these two up. Um, Azure doesn't work like as well um, with Thunderbolt, for example. Um, if you are if you have Thunderbolt, like if he's available, uh, you'll probably just want to use former Mayor or, or Theodore, if you have him, obviously. Um, or you can just do like this. So yeah, she kind of has like the run of the mill, like just like Raven, you can basically place her with anybody, except you can't do something like this. Um, don't run both of these heroes in an APZ. Like don't do this. Uh, this, this is bad. Uh, don't do this. You can really only have one damage dealer. And similarly, don't do this. Um, it's just a very, very structured, very simple. She's a very simple hero to, to form an APC. Basically, just use a really strong damage dealer, Flash, Mech, Thunderbolt. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> um, use a really strong support like Theodore. Depending on the combination that you have, use a really strong support. So again, if you have Flash... You know, you can use Azure, um, you can use IFAN. If you have Thunderbolt, you can use IFAN or Mayor. If you have Mech Pilot, you can use IFAN or Kung Fu. Um, and that's just kind of how you do it. So there are millions and millions and millions of APCs. I'm sure it's so, so, sort of going to be a rock, paper, scissors scenario, just like it was for Fallen Raven, where it's like, let's say this is my APC. Um, Superkiller Theo Thunder. Basically, if they have like this, for example, they'll beat me. Um, but if theirs is Flash, uh, if theirs is like this, then maybe the Theo Thunder is going to win. So kind of just like rock, paper, scissors, where it's like one is going to beat the other, the other is going to beat one, and then so on and so forth. Um, but anyway, those are kind of the APCs. The fact that she's so, so, so flexible makes setting up your APCs kind of fun. 
uh, or really, really fun in, in, in my opinion. I'm going to show you guys kind of, you know, if you have all the heroes, how you should set it up um, as, as I normally do. Um, but like I said, there there is so much room for kind of making whatever you think fits and especially figuring out what your opponent has and kind of making something that works um, against them. It, it's the heroes are in a very good um, position currently. Uh, so yeah, you can use Lone Roamer. Da, da, da. Lone Roamer, unfortunately, is still kind of in the meta. Um, or like, rather, Cyclone is still in the meta. Cyclone Nightingale is still sort of in the meta, unfortunately. I, I really wished one of these heroes kind of replaced him, but um, that's that's not that's not exactly the case. And then for your fifth APC, so these are kind of the four best APCs right now. Um, or, or just, you know, something similar. Again, you can replace like... You can basically just replace these front row heroes here, like put Raven in for this one and, and Super Killer for this one, and it'll be very, very, very good um, as well. And what this does open up is it does open up Beast. Beast is still a really good tank hero. Um, he, I would say he's better than Angel in a lot of scenarios. Um, so thankfully it opens up Beast and it basically just makes um, you know the previous APCs uh, a little bit stronger. So you can run something like this. Again, never worry about troop types uh, during these videos. And this is really, 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 really solid. You basically have four in four incredible tanks. There's basically five now, um, w including Angel. Four, four or five incredible tanks. Um, and it kind of comes out to like there might not be enough extreme damage dealers. So for example, ha Hammer is definitely worse than flash hammer is definitely worse than thunder hammer is definitely worse than mech so hammer kind of becomes your bottleneck now we have like amazing tanks so if you're missing fallen raven you're not going to be super super weak anymore like if you have grace and not fallen raven it's totally okay if you're missing sp heroes it's going to be totally fine like just put kung fu instead um or like Angel instead, or Beast uh, instead of Annie. So I think we're in a really, really good spot with these APCs. Um, you basically don't need SP heroes. They do, they're obviously going to be slightly better uh, in certain scenarios, but it's not game breaking anymore. Um, you can you can do totally, totally fine without them, uh, like at the highest levels even. So that's going to do it for Grace, uh, for her APCs. Let's talk about her rating, um, her initial rating, and then kind of my just overall opinion on her. So I'm going to say her initial rating right now is very high. Now, again, it was just Hero Day, meaning the majority of players didn't even have Grace or they just got Grace yesterday. The majority of battles haven't begun. Um, Eden seasons, you know, still people aren't really fighting. Um, so it's kind of like cheesy fights against you know, maybe yourself, and not like legitimate battles to the death. Um, we haven't had kill event yet. We haven't had launch center fights yet. So once all of that stuff comes out and, you know, we have really, really, really solid battle reports, I will again come out with a, you know, secondary video saying, okay, maybe, you know, maybe there's some crazy development and there's some super, super APC that's just ripping everyone apart. I'll be sure to post that. But for now, uh, I'm probably going to have to give her a five. She's basically Raven. And by the way, Super Killer right now is killing Raven in like a head-to-head -head matchup, in a 1v1 matchup, which, which I guess doesn't exist, but just an APC versus APC matchup, Super Killer is doing better than Raven right now. Just, just saying. Again, everything could change. So yeah, she's getting a 5 out of 5. I think she's incredibly good. You should definitely, definitely go for her. Um... I would even go for her. I would just get three copies of her if that's all the tickets that you have. You can do your Hopeness Lab. If you get a really good Hopeness Lab on her, like, you know, if you just have a really good flexibility, for example, on her, um, and then just get, like, Might or Damage or Skill Damage, and then, you know, maybe... You can honestly even just do four. Uh, it doesn't really matter. She's going to be really, really, really strong. Uh, and your base could go from weak to really strong just by unlocking Super Killer. So that's going to do it for this one, guys. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Um, again, I'll, I'll, I'll keep you guys updated if there's some crazy news. Um, and once we actually see fighting throughout the season, 
we'll really we'll really start to know these apcs will probably change as the season goes on that's just how it happens fighting doesn't really happen within the first two weeks all right guys that's gonna do it for me i will catch you guys on the next one a lot of videos coming up stay tuned love y'all peace